Welcome to lesson four here. Now, today we're going to learn one of the most important skills in R, and that is how to create and work with variables and vectors. You'll also learn how to watch what's happening in your environment pane and use it to manage your workspace. All right, let's get to it. Now again, we can open up a new script, file, new script, start fresh. Now what we're gonna do is create a variable. So this is just for you here, but to create a variable, again, pound sign tells our studio not to read this, but we're gonna create a variable. So you can read this as my number gets 10, basically. So my number gets 10. Now we run this by selecting command enter on a Mac again. You can see it down in the console, and now you can see it in the environment pane. So my number is 10. Now to do something simple again, let's do the math with the variable again. So my number times two. So what's 10 times two? Enter 20. We know, but what about doing something like changing the value or doing some subtraction or division or exponents like this? This is 10 squared. Just so you know, just for your notes, command enter. Now what's gonna happen? 100. So as you see in the environment pane, my number is 10, 10 squared is 100. Now let's move from a single value to a vector, which is a sequence of values. So a vector is a sequence of values. So it's like a list of numbers. Now let's do it again. So here, this instruction is for you and for me, what we're doing. We're creating a numeric vector. It's just a sequence of numbers the C function here, and what it does is it joins the numbers into a vector. So if we run this line, command enter, then we can go to the environment pane and click on my scores. So you can see here, there's four numbers, and you see all the numbers there. Now R shows you the four numbers in a single row here, and you can now perform math on the whole vector at once. So let's maybe give our studio something else to work with. So again, this is just my instructions for you. We want to add five points to every score. What would happen if we added five points to all of these scores up here, 85, 90, 88, and 92? Well, command enter. Now you can see five was added. 85 plus five is 90, 90 plus 95 is 95, and so on. So you see down here in the console, this is the output. But now we can get a little bit more detailed here and more useful for real world data. So we can create a character vector. So we can create this character vector with characters here, with people. So let's say these are student names, then command enter. In the environment pane here we see four students and their names. And now we're storing text instead of numbers. So in the R script, if we just put student names, command enter, we'll see it down here in the console. Now notice one important thing is that text strings go inside the quotes. So there's quotes around these names. So if you forget the quotes, R will think it's a variable name. So you gotta remember those quotes if there's gonna be text strings. Okay, let's clear everything up in our environment. So here I am in the environment pane and I can select this broom here that will clear it up just so you know. There's a code for clearing up the environment pane, and it's this here. But what we'll do is we'll just clear it up by selecting this, and it'll give you a warning. Remove all objects. Yes. So as you can see, we've cleared that up. We can do the same thing with this code again. If I select a command enter without selecting the broom up here, then it would clear. All right, so now you've learned how to create variables and vectors, use them in math work with text, and manage your workspace in the environment pane. Now, next up, we'll look at how to explore and manipulate data frames, which is the real backbone of working with data in R. All right, we'll see you then.